Hey guys, it's Doc, and today what I'm going to do is talk to you about map repair. So hold on. Hey guys, once in a while, uh, after you use the mat, sometimes you'll find out that you didn't do a good job gluing or uh, just get a little separation on them. And even sometimes from the shop, you know, maybe once every 100 mats that go out of here, sometimes there's a little what we call a glue gap. So let me show you how to fix that real quick. So once in a while, what's gonna happen is, is you're gonna have maybe a, a spot that you missed when you're gluing, a little bit of separation, and I'll get close in on this in just a second. But what we're gonna do now is show you real quick how to repair this. So maybe if you, if you can see it, let's find it. So if you push your mats and you're rolling up your mats and you got a little bit of separation here, or maybe a separation here, um, What's that usually? What that usually is caused by is when you're when you're running your bottle, you're running your bead of glue through here. You think that you're getting a consistent bead all the way through, but there's an air gap in the tube. And what ends up happening is is you get an air gap, and you don't get enough. You don't get glue on this portion. So all you're going to do is number one, make sure your mat is dry. So if you've been running it, get a piece of paper towel or a hair dryer and dry that off get any sand out if there's any sand in here then all you have to do is just go in and just go ahead and just put super glue right there on the top portion then I like to take a little metal square and all I do is I push down the metal square and just seat it and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna count to about seven a lot of excess glue just wipe it off so I'm gonna push down count to about seven. Remember, super glue doesn't really dry. Super glue, you remove the oxygen and that creates a bond in it. So you just push down hard on it. And I like to use metal. If you use wood or anything else, it's gonna stick to it, keep your fingers away from it. Just go through and just push it down, count to about seven. Same thing, go back down through, count to about seven. And now, that mat is gonna be repaired. It's not gonna come apart. Same thing, if you have a bubble in the middle, same thing is true. So I actually made this mat, and hopefully there's a bubble still left in here. But let's say you're rolling your mat, and as you roll your mat, you see a little bit of a bubble, a separation bubble, we call it. Same thing. All you gotta do is just lift that bubble up. It's even hard to get to it. Just lift that bubble up, stick the nozzle in, squirt a little glue in there, take your square, push it down, take off any excess, push it down, count to about seven or ten. Now that's going to be completely bonded. So what I did here was I had a mat that had separations inside of it. I just put a little super glue and made sure it was dry. Again, open it up, hit it with a hair dryer, make sure it's dry. Put the glue on there, get a piece of metal, some type of metal, push it down, lock it. And now this mat, which we made intentionally to have separations in it, when you do this, is now completely sealed up. Look at it, if I see another little bubble in here, I'll put a little glue in here, come back and just hit it just push down on it, wait for the bond to take effect, and it'll be good to go. Again, once you, once you seal these mats, uh, good luck getting them apart. We've had these mats running underwater for months and months and months, and they will not come apart. So, uh, but every once in a while, like I said, you might get a little weak glue joint in there, so just put it on there, make sure it's dry. I like to hit it with a hair dryer, hit it with a hair dryer, just push down on it with a piece of metal and you're ready to go. Clean it up. If you want to clean up any excess, get some acetone. Put some acetone on a paper towel. And then just wipe the mat. And clean the mat and that will take off any excess. Anyways guys, that's Doc. Just a little how-to tip. Thanks. Yeah.